Hey, this is Mass X with a brand new Jiu Jitsu Kaizen Phantom Parade video, and we got our maintenance announcement basically November 12th, 2.55 p.m. to 5 p.m. UTC 9. That is going to give us our preparation for the next event in Banner for Gotcha. We already knew this, they had previously announced it that we were going to get. Junpei banner and we're going to talk about in a second but I've pretty much made my thoughts on that in other videos <laughs> but as well as a new memory imaginary youth so that will be coming around to us as well as a new event we will get grand exorcism battle map event if you've watched any of my older videos leading up to this release, then you are well aware of the different types of events they do, and I've done one on the map event. So if you would like to see that, I'll leave a link in the description for that. But those, as I always stress, are a major push. But right now we need to talk about this banner. Well, Chunpei is the next banner, and instead of pulling them up in Japanese on my Japanese account, I figured I would just go right to the wiki, and because this is not going to take long, okay? First off, he's an attacker, and he's yellow type, and his affiliation is Satisakura High School Year 2. So, let's take a look at his kit, okay? His skill 1 deals 110% jujitsu damage to the selected enemy, decreased enemy, selected enemy's jujitsu damage by 20%. His skill 2 is Moon Dregs, grants attack nullification to self, attacks all enemies, attacks to self, decrease all allies damage received by 10%, excludes self, and the Poison Stab is skill 3, deals 85% jujitsu damage to the selected enemy, deals 30% continuous jujitsu damage poison to the selected enemy, increase the selected enemy's damage received by 10%. And of course the ultimate deals 400% jujitsu damage to the selected enemy, deals 120% continuous jujitsu damage poison to the selected enemy, decrease the selected enemy's jujitsu damage by 30%. The combo ultimate effect increases own and combo allies jujitsu damage by 10% for three turns, deals 50% jujitsu damage to the selected enemy. Yeah, and the auto skills don't hold me back. At the start of the battle, increase his own damage by 7.5%. The more Tokyo Jiu-Jitsu high school students are present on the field during the wave, the greater the damage boost. Now you're probably saying, oh, it doesn't sound horrible. And oh, wow, there's a character with poison. Uh, yeah, there's a character with poison, and he's the only one with poison. It doesn't work effectively in the game. They never fixed it. They never released anybody else. So basically, he really is just a missed opportunity character and was pushed to the side very quickly early on into the game because his poison was not effective and no future units took advantage of that. And basically, he became probably one of the worst characters in the game in Japan due to that. He, I can't even tell you if I've once ever played this character. Um, you know, it just is what it is. Now, the memory is a bit of a different story, okay? There is an SSR memory with this banner. They're calling it on the global version of Imaginary Youth. Um, it's translated as what if youth, but basically it, the stats are HP. Um, if you level to 55, 32%. Taijutsu physical technique at 22%, Jujutsu curse technique at 22%. The skill effects on this character though, when command skill or ultimate skill is activated, recovers own cursed energy by 15, a, school, a, a cooldown time of four turns, which is actually not bad. When command skill or ultimate skill is activated, recovers own cursed energy by 20, same um, four turn cooldown. At the start of the sixth turn from the start of battle, increase all enemies jujitsu damage received by 10%. Two times, if the enemy is afflicted by poison status, increase the enemy's jujitsu damage received by 20%, which of course, unless you're playing the banner character along with it, um, it's really not gonna be all that effective, but that's not bad. Anything that's gonna give you cursed energy is actually nice, because it gets you to your ultimate quicker, but not a reason to pull on this banner. 
This banner is such a hard skip, it's not even funny. Why? There's really only two characters that, that are really a must pull for this game prior to six month anniversary. That is our next Gojo, and that is Yuta. Yuta will come first. Yuta will be coming at some point in the next four, six weeks. Who knows what they do at Global. Could be sooner, could be later. But the point is that banner will arrive sooner than later. Then it will give you some time if they don't mix up things to save for our next Gojo. Those are the two characters that you are going to want to get for be as your high priority for the first six months of the game. Once we hit um, half anniversary, all bets are off after that. I'll be quite honest with you. Um, the characters get better and better, but I digress. This banner is nothing. Skip it. Do not pull on it at all. Save. If you're a whale, don't waste your time on this. You don't need this character. I won't even pull on this banner because honestly, I don't care about this memory. I've got other means to effectuate this and we'll have other memories coming down the road. Save, 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 work on your account and build what you currently have. That's the best advice I can say at this point. So with that, as always, please like and subscribe. It helps a lot. Have a great day.